what's going on you guys major dragon here it's been a little while for this what if series but we are back on what if vegeto never defused part two or is it part two is it part three i'm just kidding it's part three but anyway the last time we cut off was when vegeto had just beaten frieza and he was now training back on weiss's and beer's planet and this time vados and choppa do show up very similar to the original show and yes the same thing goes down with Beerus with the noodles and then they start fighting. You know how it all goes. So yes, Vegeta will still get into the universal uh, little, little 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 tournament between them two. A little Gauchuxin tournament. Now we're just going to gloss over this and just be very blunt. Vegeta's going to win. He hit has absolutely zero chance against Vegeta. It's not even up for debate in the story. Uh, we're already done with that. I do believe that Vegeta will still have a connection with Kaba because of Vegeta's side because of Vegeta's side and yes so all that mostly happens the exact same so this time Beerus would win and yes Beerus would still obviously give him the new earth and have his earth restored in universe 6 so Choppa can enjoy the earth delicacies that are there so all that happens pretty much the exact same and then yes Zeno still arrives Zeno still shows up and obviously all the, all the gods freak out and they bow and everything and yes Vegeta will still have the Goku side of him to where he'll become friends with the Omni Kings and they'll really like Vegito and he's really powerful. So, yes, that, all that still happens the exact same. So, yes, they have a new best friend and the gods are terrified now that Vegito is friends with the Omni Kings. But now we're going to get into the most interesting part of this what if. And for this what if, I decided to take things off the rails a little bit. I wanted to make the what if not a generic, oh, it's Vegito Black, let's just have him turn Super Saiyan Rose. Uh, sooner or later, either Trunks beats him, which he probably won't at all, or Vegito beats him. Okay, that's that's a cool story. But no, this time I decided that I'm going to do something a little bit different. This Vegito Black is going to be much worse. So yes, Zamasu still does go switch bodies with Vegito, as that's the most powerful version. And he's still, all that, most of that confusing stuff, how the Goku Black art was poorly written, still happens the exact same. Everything happens the exact same until they meet up. And yes, they would still fight on, uh, on on Earth in the past, in the current timeline, not in the future. And obviously, Vegeta would go, you know, Super Saiyan one or two or base doesn't matter. Fight Goku, uh, Vegeta Black a little bit. Me saying Goku Black, and Goku Black would still, Goku Black, Vegito Black would still be forced back into the future timeline. Although it happened the same. Vegito would then go into the future along with Trunks who yes Vegito would also train Trunks a little bit as well very similar to what Vegeta did that does not change so Trunks is around the same he's nothing special so that does not change now the main fight is where everything changes so yes this is how the fight is going to go down so Vegito and Vegito Black are going to meet face to face once again and Vegito is going to be going Super Saiyan Blue and he's actually going to be putting the beat down on Vegito Black. Because remember, this Vegito is far stronger than the one that Vegito Black has. But Vegito Black is far scarier because this is not just Goku. This is Goku and Vegito fused together. The potential that they have is insane. And also, Zamasu inside of the body is starting to figure it out. But I do believe that it would be more difficult because it's two beings into one body. Now, a lot of people are, are wondering too... They're technically two people, so wouldn't it not work? Yes and no. It wouldn't in reality work because Vegito is one being now. Mind, personality, everything. It's not Goku, this is not like the fusion dance where it's technically two people and they have to work as one. No, this Vegito is a permanent fusion, fusion and he is stuck together. He is, Goku and Vegito are gone. They are gone. Unless they are defused by the Super Dragon Balls, there is no other way that that's going to be happening. And Zamasu wouldn't want to defuse Vegeta when he when he was in front of the Super Dragon Balls, because he only get one wish, and also on top of that, that's like the perfect body to go into, so of course he's not going to do that. Fight will go down, Vegeta Black is just in trouble, but he loves it as he's letting Vegeta Blue do it on purpose. So Vegeta Black would then power up, and he would go Super Saiyan and he would have the darker circles under his eyes as it's very similar to the manga and they would continue fighting and fighting but Vegeta Black keeps on getting stronger and then Trunks would join in as well as Trunks wouldn't really be too much of a help but it's something to keep him distracted and you know 
focusing on two people rather than one does help in a fight. And then all of that ends up until future, or future, current, past, the other Zamasu shows up. The immortal one does show up the exact same. And Vegito and them are forced to evacuate and get away, go back to the current timeline. Now, Vegito does train for a year in the hyperbolic time chamber, very similar to what Vegeta did. This is where some crazy stuff had to come in here. He does take Trunks with him. The reason why is because he wants Trunks to be strong enough to be able to fight on his own. Because Trunks, I'm sorry guys, Trunks is absolutely a fly compared to Vegito Blue and Vegito Black. It's not even a, not even a game. But a year training with Vegito, and Trunks is not a weakling either. Trunks is strong, very, very powerful, one of the most powerful people. He would definitely be a, a good training partner, along Trunks does have amazing potential. Trunks, this, no joke, what I believe that he would be able to learn Gaki, and a after one day, or 24 hours, aka, t or 12 hours, to a year, they do come out. And Vegito is a lot stronger this time, beyond stronger than he was before, to where he can take on Vegito Black now. And Trunks is actually psh, crazy strong, strong to where he can turn into Super Saiyan God. I do believe that training with Vegito for a year, I do believe in this what if that he could probably access Gaki. Trunks' potential is nuts. Not to mention we got teased about it with. Like, like we thought we were, he was going to turn Super Saiyan Blue or something. But then he turned Super Saiyan Rage, which, I mean, it was kind of cool. You all know. That was just lazy writing. They didn't want to make him look more powerful than Vegeta and Goku because it's so better toys. We all know how that goes. So they would go back to the future timeline. Trunks would have little to no issue holding off Mertz, uh, not Mertz, holding off Zamasu, who, he still is immortal, so... Trunks still gonna have to fight him, but he's so much more powerful now that he can slap Zamasu around and keep him distracted. So two people not teaming up on Vegito. So Vegito would go fight Vegito Black, and he would easily dominate over Vegito Black. He even tries to go into Super Saiyan 2. Doesn't work against Vegito Blue. He dominates him the entire time. So Vegito Black says, You have now made me be able to use the peak of this body, and then he changes. But this time it's not Rose. It's something worse. Now, I don't have an official name for this form. I would call it maybe divine form, or you can call you may call it whatever you wish. Let me know in the comments what you would call this form that is appearing on the screen currently, what you would call that. And the reason why I'm doing it is because every what if just always be having, you know, Goku Black and you know, Vegeta, you know, all, all, you know, like just turning Rose, Rose, Rose. Well, I want to change it up and make it, and also it does look better on Vegito, like the white hair and the eyes looking like that. So the fight will go down and Vegito, Vegito Blue will try and punch him and it will do nothing to him. And the fight would be one-sided very quickly. So yes, it, it, it's bad. And no, this Vegito Black is not all changing to, this is Super Saiyan God. No, he's not like that. He's still that like dark, deep, menacing, evil version. Very, you know, almost the exact same as as base Goku Black was, but just you know, just that, just that like dark, evil, menacing, but even more. So he's always so very, very, very intimidating, and he's no joke. So Vegeta Blue is in some trouble. Trunks is too busy holding off Zama Zamasu to really help out, and even if he tried, he knows he couldn't do nothing. So. Vegito Blue is going to have no choice, and he's going to show off a new Trump card that he has. And Trunks wasn't worried because he knew that his father, or part father, had this power. He would then absorb the Super Saiyan Blue key into his body, and his hair would change a little bit, and he would actually evolve to the next stage of Super Saiyan Blue. Now, I do wanted this form to be custom for Vegito because of his potential. Now, this is Super Saiyan, this is almost like a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution mixed with perfected Super Saiyan Blue. He is utilizing the absolute full power of Super Saiyan Blue by evolving it to the next level. So it's technically two, put two forms and put them together. That's exactly what it is. So he doesn't have an aura, but he actually has the ability to use more key weapons such as what he used to do to where he can make like the key beam but this time he can make key blades and other things i do believe that he could do this especially being so powerful and having so much potential 
Goku Black could do it, but it's also because he had special key. Well, Vegito is a special key as well. He's not a normal Saiyan or a normal mortal being. Power level wise, we don't have no numbers, but scaling wise, he at this point would rival a god of destruction. Maybe not Beerus, but definitely a, one or two of the god of destructions, the, the way weaker ones, he could rival their power. And it's not really a high surprise at this point. So he would fight Vegito Black, and we all know how this would go. Vegito Black would try and fuse with Merge Zamasu. But it does not work. And they're mad the reason why it doesn't work. And Vegito, as cocky as ever, would tell him that you're already fused. So you can't fuse again. Because I do believe that in the heat of the moment, they, they would forget about that. Especially, especially Vegito Black, who's getting completely annihilated during the fight. And they would try it. Uh, but it just doesn't work this time. They're, they're already a fusion. So you can't do a fusion fused with another person. It's not like a three-way fusion. So that's not how it works. So... Vegito had enough, he would fire a final Kamehameha, obliterating Vegito Black and obliterating Zamasu. But, the problem is, Zamasu does come back as that void around the universe of Zamasu, which Vegito is not going to have a choice, and I do believe that this time, instead of calling Zeno, y'all gonna be crazy, Vegito says, Trunks, get the time machine ready, and this is why. He would actually call for the spirit bomb and get as much energy as possible from around the whole entire universe and then use that power and use every ounce of his power and shoot a final attack right at Zamasu. Long story short, he will blow the entire universe seven up. I do, and and I, I know for a fact that he can because Gods of Destruction can do it, not to mention and if you want proof, Goku and Beerus, as a Super Saiyan God, his power was able to shake the entire multiverse, the other world, normal, everything, and in a couple of blows stated by Elder Kai, could completely destroy the entire universe if Goku does not control his power right, which Goku did. So we don't really see universal feats because that's destroying the entire universe, but I, Vegito could do that without really much of an issue. I mean, you know, I'm, I mean, like, you have Broly, who, who within years was able to destroy the, the south side of the, you know, the south side. So, but Vegito's quadrillion times stronger than that. But anyway, long story short, he blows up Universe 7. Because it's already doomed anyway. Zamasu taking over everything. So he blows it up. So Zeno was not called to destroy it. That means that there is no future Zeno brought to current Zeno. So Zeno's still lonely. But I do believe that, you know, since Vegito's a sing, you know, uh, not two beings, I think that he would also have time for Zeno, you know, probably go see him and hang out, which would actually make their connection stronger, which in the end would actually help him out. So that's it for this what if. Uh, I'm going to save the Tournament of Power for another what if, aka the next one. So I hope you guys enjoy this little twist on it. I tried making it a little bit more different than before. I didn't want it to just be like a copycat of like the like original canon what ifs or like the original canon show where oh it's a Goku Black or something oh he has uh, you know Rose or oh it's a Vegeta Black he just has Rose I wanted to make it a little bit more different and also this what if is a little bit longer probably because I'm rambling right now wasting your guys' time so anyway thank you all so much for it and I love you guys so much and I will talk to you all later.